Hello, I am Mr. 23 and in today's video I am going to teach you how you can select different fire images and add them into your artwork. So the first image that I am going to start with is this one and we are going to hide the dark parts from it by setting the layer to screen. But it still has a background around the fire so for that we are going to use levels. So add the levels adjustment layer and hold alt and click between the layers to include these uh, levels inside the layer with the fire. Then I'm going to drag the left slider to the right and I'm going to do that until I will see that the crown disappearing. Perfect. Now I'm going to add a blur, Gaussian blur, because my background isn't that sharp as the fire. So for that I'm going to filter and here blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to set a 1.1 pixels Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to add a mask and with a black color I'm going to paint on the sides to hide a bit the margins of this fire to blend in better with my background. This is the next picture that we are going to use and we are going to use a different method to select the fire. If you want to see the full video tutorial and also get all the resources I use to create this artwork, please join my Patreon account. For that I'm going to select color range. I'm going to select this part with the sky so I'm clicking once and then I'm going to hold shift until I see this plus on the icon and I'm going to continue to click around to select all that uh, sky area and also the water underneath. After that I'm going to hit OK and I'm just going to add a mask by holding ALT and it will get rid of the sky area. But we still have some parts so for that I'm going to select the mask and this time I'm going to get the solid round brush and with the black color. And if you still see this uh, white stroke, actually it's not white, uh, this blue gray stroke around uh, those black parts of my image I'm going to take again the brush so from brush and I'm going to set the mode to overlay and with the black color selected if I'm painting you'll see that uh, those parts will uh, be gone and then I'm just going to position this uh, newly selected layer on top of the other one then I'm going to add the same Gaussian blur so go to filter and uh, blur Gaussian blur the same 1.1 and I'm just going to leave this layer on normal I'm not going to set it to um, screen like the other one because this will happen and I want it to be uh, visible so now this log is really dark and uh, the black values are really strong so I'm going to diminish those uh, values by adding a layer set to lighten so add a solid color adjustment layer and here I'm going to use a really dark color something like that and then hit ok clip this inside by holding alt and then set it to uh, lighten the next thing the reds from this uh, fire are really strong so we are going to make them more orange so for that I am going to add a hue and saturation and hold alt and click between the layers again and on the colors I'm going to select reds and here I'm going to uh, modify the reds I'm going to use the hue slider to the right and now my reds are a bit orange. The last fire image that I'm going to use is this one and we are going to do the same things that we did on the first one. So first thing set the layer to screen and add a uh, levels. Clip it inside and here we are going to drag again the sliders until we see that background uh, gone. And the same thing I'm going to add a Gaussian blur again. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur 1.1. I'm going to add a mask and with the black color I'm going to paint on the sides to get rid of the parts that shouldn't be there. And because this fire will cast some lights on the ground, first thing that I'm going to do is to add a new layer and set it to overlay. Then I'm going to paint on the ground with an orange color and I'm going to add a blend if to this layer. And this will disperse a lot the colors, actually the color in our case, into the ground. So for that I'm going to uh, drag this uh, slider, something like that, and then around 15 I'm going to hold Alt and drag the right one more, I think something like that, and then hit OK. The next thing I'm going to add a new layer, and this time I'm going to set it to soft light, and I'm going to paint a bit more on the ground. And of course you can switch to the eraser tool and erase some parts if you went too far. And the last one, let's add another layer, which I'm going to set to screen. And I'm going to paint around with an orange color and also a yellow color. 
Then of course I'm going to add the blend diff, so double click on the layer and I'm just going to hold Alt and drag the slider all the way to 100. And then I'm going to paint more because now I can see better what I'm doing. And then we can easily add our uh, characters and uh, they look like they are sitting next to our fire. If you love this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me to post more high quality videos every month.